Hey all, welcome to my channel again, The Diary of a Working Mom. In today's video, I'm going to make jam using cherries that I have harvested from my backyard garden. For this recipe, you will need 1 portion of cherry pulp, 3 fourth portion of sugar, lime juice and a pinch of salt. This month, I got a tremendous amount of cherry harvest from two cherry plant in my backyard garden and thought of making jam out of this. These cherries are wild cherries or you can call it as sour cherries. It's very small in size when compared to sweet cherries which is normally grown for agricultural purpose. And it's so bitter in taste as well. Since it is very small, it's very difficult to remove the stem and do the pitting. So I try to blend the cherries using a blender but it doesn't go well. So what I did is I used a food processor to process the cherries first. Then I used a blender to blend the cherries and strain that to get the cherry pulp. Measure the cherry pulp using a measuring cup. I got almost two cups of cherry pulp using four cups of cherries. Heat a deep, heavy bottom vessel and transfer the cherry pulp. Cook it for 2 minutes. Then add the sugar. Here I have added 1 and half cup of sugar. Mix well. As the cherries cook with the sugar, they will release their juices. So you don't need to add any additional water. Making jam at home is an absolute treat and worth spending the time on. It will need just being a level cooking skill. Once the mixture comes to a rolling boil like this, turn the heat to medium low. The mixture should still be simmering but slow. Let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Mix well in between so that it doesn't burn at the bottom. You can see the color is not that much appealing. So you can use food color if you want to color your jam.
The jam will be done when it has thickened enough. Here I used beetroot juice to color my jam. Indeed I forget to add beetroot pieces when I grind the cherries so that will be easier for me but I forgot to add the beetroot pieces when I grind the cherries. So what I did is I just grind uh, beetroot pieces and strain that to extract the juice out of that. It's getting thickened enough. Add the beetroot juice to color the jam. It's completely optional. You can see the color is now slightly changing into red. Cherries are really sour, but if you want, you can add lime juice. I used the lime juice of half of a lime. Mix well. Take a frozen or cool plate and place a drop of jam on the plate. If the jam is runny, it means that you need to cook a bit more. Cook for few minutes. And it's done. So you can do the plate checking again. If the jam slides too fast, it needs more time to cook. If it slides slowly, it's done. This time I use the spatula to check the consistency. It's in the right consistency. Turn off the heat. Let it cool completely. Store this jam in a sterilized dry jar and you can use this uh, up to two weeks. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel.